These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <coughs> All right, what's up everybody? It's Grim Green. I got a big zit on my face that I don't want anybody to see. So it's just going to be me and you and my hands and this little Boro guy right here. Yeah, so cool. Honestly, so cool. Please give me your, you know, unrestrained opinion on this. I posted some pictures on social media and the response was honestly like a little bit lukewarm. I was surprised because I personally think this Atlas from Advanced Mods is one of the sicker cool boros that I have right now. It's not perfect and I don't love everything about it, but man, I like a lot about this. First of all, it's a great size. It's exactly as big as you think it is. In freedom units, it's just a hair over three inches tall this way and not even two inches this way. And all of the corners, I'm gonna get up on here, but all these corners are real nicely rounded off. There's not a hard edge to be found on this. Everything, everything is very slightly rounded off, which really tremendously helps with the hand feel and comfort of this. Button placement right here, big fan of that. This usually just goes into my palm right here and the thumb just kind of falls right there. Hold it, it's a thing of beauty. There is a DNA 60C on the other side, which is a, is a perfectly fine and good chip. I have a Mac, so eScribe doesn't work super well for me and I would love a way to have this not lock automatically like it's defaultly set to do because I find myself clicking it three times to unlock it almost every time I pick it up to vape it. But otherwise, this is a real reliable, powerful chip. I've never felt a lack of power. I love that smooth DC signal from the Evolve boards. This has replay. This has a whole, it's a, it's a full board. I can adjust the wattage. I can change the mode, stainless steel. There's a whole temperature control suite. This is way too bright. You can't see what's going on, but we're back to replay and now we're back to wattage. I am and have always been, but a simple wattage vapor. So give me 30 regulated watts. I'm good to go. I don't need fancy temperature control. Battery door, super magnetic. And if you get up on here, on this magnet, on the door, it looks like it's, I mean, I'm sure it's glued in there, but there's also like a, a clear sort of sticker over it that may or may not be holding that magnet in. It's, it's taking everything in my brain right now to not just dig in there and peel those stickers off, but I think I'm not going to peel those stickers off. This sticks on with authority. It's real snappy and nice and all of the fit and finish where everything meets or is screwed together, all the corners and everything, it's just so precise. There is a slight little battery window cut out there, which is fine. Uh, I don't have a lot of like single color batteries. It's either those like gray moly cells or the pizza ODB wrap kind of looks okay in there. Get that tank out of there real quick and you can see a 510 connection right there. Feels very slightly spring-loaded 510 connection right there. Unadjustable. There's no flathead or Phillips screw on there. Ah, I just can't get over this. I like this and I even really like the stainless steel accents. Advanced mods on the bottom, stainless steel on the top because most to all of my Boro bridges are stainless steel. So I like having like the black and the orange and the black and the orange matchy matchy, sure, but let's throw stainless steel into the mix because the bridge is always gonna be stainless, top stainless, the drip tip can be stainless and orange and black. Like this is the perfect drip tip, shout out to you, Oleg. And now my favorite, 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 favorite feature of this Boro device is the USB-C cover. That's just a USB-C under there. Boom like that. Many other companies sometimes do this and just A, either leave it exposed, letting all sorts of like dust and lint get in there, or like on the Blaze AIO, it's just sort of a silicone cover for this. Well, advanced mods being so advanced and high end and the such as, it's a completely aluminum machined out o-ringed freaking o-ringed usb-c cover and it just pops in there and pops down so nicely on that o-ring and stays firm and secure i've literally never worried about losing this or having it fall out oh it appears i put it on upside down it matches the logo it's all matchy and i think this is really a beautiful device so i said it's not perfect and my biggest main biggest gripe with this thing is Oh God, I wish the screen screen was right here. Why isn't the screen right here? Fire button, screen, show it to me all on one side. I kind of hate having to turn this around 
and use my finger like this to use the screen if I'm adjusting things or I want to adjust my wattage and I kind of have to do one of these jobbers. Uh, I don't know. I just find that annoying and I would have really liked to have the screen here. That I feel like is a minor gripe on an otherwise really really nice little Boro AIO. I really appreciate also that there's not like a door or like a magnetic little tab or something right here that would go over the tank. The whole Boro is just big, open, exposed, plenty, plenty of airflow literally everywhere you look. I like this thing. I like using it. I like holding it. I find it comfy. It's not as blocky as you think it is. It's not as big as you think it is. It's also a lot, lot more expensive than you think it is. And that's definitely factoring into the banana stickers of this. And if I think I was gonna hand out some banana stickers for this Advanced Mods Atlas, it's probably gonna land, I mean, honestly, close to nine. We're, we're just gonna call it, I think this is a nine banana, I think I'm enjoying this and I think this is cool enough for at least nine banana stickers worth of cool. Look, there's a lot of boros out there and you can only do so much with an 18650 and a square tank. This seems to be the form factor that a lot of boros are just gonna fall into. Sure, it borrows a lot of like design elements from plenty other boro mods and it does have the limitation of, you know, only being a single 18650, which with a restricted lung single coil or even a mouth to lung, I've never had a problem with. Sure, 21700 would be more milliamp hour, bigger battery, but we got what we got. It's an 18650. Man, those magnets are strong. Even when it's just up close, I still find a way to ramble. So I'm gonna cut myself off here and say, yeah, this is real cool. And I can't tell you how much they cost or where you can get them. But if you're watching this and you're thinking, maybe I wanna vape that, but you currently smoke cigarettes, listen, right here, let's be serious. It's time to stop. Literally all of the science says you should, and it's never been easier. There is a world of safer nicotine products out on the market. In the description of this video, I'm gonna put links to Just Science and Just Education. This has been a Grim Green video. Damn it, let's stay cigarette smoke free literally every single day. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so.